guys today is monday i hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start thanks so much for stopping in today guys all right so i am coming in today with what i think is a fun video the weather has cooled off and so i thought today would be the perfect day to come in and share with you my fall and winter boot collection and today we are going to focus on all of my black boots so let's go ahead and get started. So I think I'll start with the only over the knee, only long pair of boots that are in my collection. And these here guys are from Calvin Klein. I actually purchased these from Nordstrom, I wanna say on last year. And so I have really, really skinny legs, all right? My, I carry a lot of my weight, waist, level and up everything else below me can tend to be on the smaller side and so it can be a challenge for me to find boots that fit my skinny ankles my skinny legs but these right here have just been perfect for me again they are from calvin klein i love 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 this detail here in the back not sure if you guys can see it but it is super stretchy back here so for those of you who have larger legs if you needed a little bit more room in the leg area of your over the knee boots these would just be perfect but guys the leather on these boots are so super soft and i think with every wear you know especially when you go out and maybe it's a little damp or a little you know a little rainy the leather just seems to become more and more soft more and more pliable and for me to have had these a little over a year now um they are wearing really really well you guys know that our boots really do take a beating unlike you know the shoes that we wear in the spring of summer spring and summer you know our boots do take a beating so yeah really enjoying these i love that they will take just a really boring mundane look you guys know that i have said countless times here on the channel that i am extremely borderline basic <laughs> with what i wear so these particular boots really do amp up my uh boring outfit so yeah that's my first pair and since we are talking about outfits i went out today to uh, run a few errands so let me show you what I am wearing today so let me move the camera so I can share with you my outfit of the day <laughs> today my only errands were to get my nails done and to check out a brand new home goods in my area so that's all I did today so this is what I am wearing we'll start here with the no shoes because I don't wear shoes in the house, but I wore my white chucks today. Yep, yeah, that's what I had on today uh, for my shoes. And I am wearing these universal thread, slightly distressed jeans. And you guys know universal thread, is that, wait a minute, is that Walmart or Target? Either way, that's where these are from. I love the little cuff. And like I said, the slight distressing. Um, I have the jeans on with my reversible Louis Vuitton belt. I love how the rich chocolate color here um, plays well with the newest addition to my shirt line. Um, this is the uh, That Mama Hustle tee. You guys see that? Let me see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, this is actually better right here, actually. Yeah, so this is a new tee. I just added it. It says That Mama Hustle. And um, I love how it's in the chocolate. The That and the Hustle are in a really pretty chocolate. But Mama is in this really sparkly brown. I hope that's picking up. But um, with the holidays coming up, I know all of us mamas are going to be so extremely busy. Uh, so I felt that adding this particular shirt to the collection would be so apropos. All right, so I love it. It's a V-neck, um, as all of my t-shirts are. Um, I love that they're V-neck. Um, I have on this Africa <laughs> charm necklace. I have on a couple of Louis Vuitton bracelets, and I am wearing my mommy unit on the go, my mommy on the go unit, um, because, you know, it's time to start running around as moms. So, uh, yeah, 
This is my look for today, guys. Super simple, but unfrumpy. <laughs> So yeah, that is the outfit of the day, guys. You will be able to head over to the website. I'll probably have, have it scrolling uh, here at the bottom of the screen and check out all the new tees. But like I said, I am loving the That Mama Hustle t-shirt. You guys know, like I said, it is time for us to start getting our hustle on. We will be in the kitchen. We will be out running now errands in addition to the errands that we already had to run as we gear up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. All right, so get your That Mommy on the Hustle tee. I'll also have some new holiday uh, t-shirts as well. Everything will be in limited quantity. And don't forget to uh, check out the Mommy on the Go unit. I love this one. Um, this one is like a, I, I want to say a dark brown, but it's not what would I liking this liking this too? It's like a almost reddish brown with like some blonde highlights in it. I hope you guys are picking it up, but I just love it. I love that it really works with uh, my co complexion. It, I look like I almost have a tan, but I, I haven't been anywhere hot. But anyway. Everything will be listed down below. Um, like I said, I'll have the website where you guys can go and purchase from the Unfrumpy Mommy store. And I wanna send a huge thank you out again to everyone who has purchased with me thus far. And remember, if you have purchased with me thus far, you will be entered to win a holiday box and some other goodies coming up here in a few weeks. But I digress. Okay, so up next. <laughs> the next pair of boots and these are almost slightly shorter than a booty I, I would say um, but I love when the weather starts to cool off and I can pull these little booties out these are of the Chelsea style I love the Chelsea boot they remind me of the boots that the Beatles used to wear and all of the you know artists back in that era but I love that they have a square toe and they have that really gorgeous seam going up the front just making it super stylish these are from aerosols so not only are they super stylish but they are extremely comfortable they have a really gorgeous suede and surprisingly enough they are really easy guys to keep clean again you know our shoes our boots take a beating during the fall and the winter more specifically the winter but I have really been able to keep these pretty clean I have had these I know for at least three years and um as you can see here on the bottom, they are really, really, really wearing nicely. And I just can't, I can't express to you guys just how extremely comfortable these are. And so as you see, there is no heel to speak of on these boots, but sometimes even when we as ladies wear shoes that are you know, relatively flat, they can still tend to cause a little bit of discomfort but these because there are they are from aerosols um they're they're really really comfortable so yeah love 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 these i believe this is the third pair that i have to share with you here today these are from miss jessica simpson now some would say this is not a boot i call it a booty okay um now some would disagree because this portion of the shoe here does not close all the way and you know when we think of a boot a traditional style boot there is some type of zipper or it is completely enclosed but i call it a booty all right let me know what you guys think again these are from jessica simpson guys you know jessica simpson i don't know how i felt about her as an artist a singer per se or an actress but i have to tell you that girl has the gold finger is that the terminology she's she has the midas touch she has the midas touch when it comes to shoes she can do no wrong guys when it comes to shoes these shoes here are so stinking cute just really really chic um again her price point jessica simpson jessica simpson i think she just hits the ball right out of the park every time she comes out with 
with a shoe guys these are just as soft and just as supple as the ones that I shared with you earlier from Nordstrom um, can you guys see how pliable these shoes are they're so comfortable however to look at them from afar you would probably think they're just like super structured and I'm um, gonna really do a number you're on your feet throughout the day but you could literally guys get away with wearing these all day and not having any problems at all these paired with a pair of black leggings or some leather skinny leather pants and skinny jeans you absolutely have a look and I'll also say though you know even though the toe is open if you wore these you know early fall you know the weather that we're having right now I think today the high in Atlanta is going to be around 56 58 degrees these would actually be perfect however as we you know get later into fall and winter you may want to pair these with some you know opaque tights or some opaque socks but um just I love these I really 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 love having these you know in my collection love these now if I own a pair of boots that are starting to show their age I'm going to say that it's absolutely this pair right here but I cannot for the life of me bring myself to get rid of these guys I love these so so very much from conception okay from the original day that I purchased these Eric has detested these boots to no end he can't stand them but you know sometimes everything isn't going to be for everybody and I'm, I'm okay with that all right I just love the western vibe of these boots guys and I tell you the little beat up bottoms <laughs> and the front area of the boots I think it just adds to the character of the shoe you know I just love it I think they are a statement they um, have some what is this like some muted silver gunmetal gunmetal um, hardware here it has all of these cute little buckles and of course you don't have to unbuckle any of this to get the boot on um, because it has this zipper here on the side but I just love these I love that the toe kind of toots up a little bit man and they're so so very comfortable so these are the shoes that I wear when I am out running around doing all of my holiday chores and who I don't even know who these are even by I've had them for so long I think the name has even worn off. no they're Madden girl Madden girl so that means I probably ordered these from my good friends over at DSW I haven't purchased anything from DSW in a while but um, I just love these again you know the buckles and things here on the side they I think can tend to make the shoe look a little bit wider than it actually is but it's really slender and I think they fit my little narrow ankles really really well but I'm not getting rid of these shoes man I don't care what Eric says and yes I think they're probably coming off as looking a little bit dusty but guys no I clean my shoes every time I take them off they are not that's why I'm able to you know touch the bottoms um, but they're not dusty they have like a charcoal gray color to them so that makes them look even more aged but man I love these I love these you guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comments as you can see I, I think I've spent longer on these than I <laughs> have any of the other ones but you guys let me know how you feel about these boots mm -mm. I love these I'm gonna wear these so the wheels fall off until that heel falls off and it's probably not too far from falling off but um yeah I love these <laughs> all right so let's see these who are these by diva as you guys can see my black boots i really have not spent a lot of money on my boots <sighs> maybe i'll get some updated pairs this winter we'll see but these are actually from DSW as well these remind me of a pair of Western boots that the ladies wore with their little petticoats and things like that 
but they are a more dressed up version of the ones that I showed, okay? These have the little corset um, strings and little hardware going up the front, but of course, you have your really good zipper here on the side. Love these shoes. And I think I've said this before here on the channel also. Guys, I don't really, you know, do a whole bunch of heels anymore. I am all about comfort. Comfort, then style, okay? They need to look good. You can't wear a bunch of flat shoes that are ugly, but uh, comfort for me is a first now followed by you know just how chic are the boots and so this is probably what a three inch heel so i can wear these with no problems at all i'm, I'm sure some of you are like well i hope so that is barely a heel but man i just can't i have to be comfortable and so these are really really perfect for me okay i am going to wear shoes that i can wear and look great in i don't want to wear a pair of shoes that I look like I need to have some training wheels on them. All of my shoes, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, mm hmm Those shoes are made for her, what do I wanna say, her, her level, all right? I think there are levels to wearing heels. All right, guys, we are on the home stretch. I have but three more. I have this pair right here that I'm gonna share and then two more and we are done. You guys will have to let me know what your favorites were down in the comments. But guys, you can't talk about boots without talking about Uggs. I'm sorry. I know Uggs are not for everybody in here again. I am completely I'm fine with that. Everything is not going to be for everyone and I'm good with it. But I have to have me a pair of Uggs. I, I cannot I cannot do winter and fall without my Uggs, okay? Uggs are just, man, you know when you get up in the morning and let's say you just have to go to the grocery store, you don't wanna do Instacart or any of that, you need to go in there and lay your eyes on those particular ingredients that you neglected to order, maybe, you know, a few days back. These are the shoes that you slip on. You slip this on with a nice sweatshirt, preferably one of the unfrumpy mommy t-shirts or sweatshirts, and you get your cute little baseball cap or uh, maybe even put your hoodie on or throw on your uh, cutest little fedora. I don't know, whatever hat you wear in the winter with your lounge gear and throw on these Uggs, it's a look. You guys know that the grocery store is notorious for being cold. And listen, I know they do it because, you know, they have perishable items in there. And so the place has to be kept at a certain temperature. And so on those days, my Uggs come out. Those days during the winter when we have to go to Ikea. These are my kick around shopping shoes right here. You guys will see me in the stores this late fall and winter wearing my Uggs. But hold up, I know Uggs can be a little bit expensive. Hold the line, please. Hold the line. Those of you who saw uh, the cooking video that I just put up, you'll know what that is referencing. Okay, I'm back. Um, if you do not want to pay for the Uggs, Uggs can be, they can be a bit pricey, I guess, depending on what, you know, what you want to spend on your boots. So I have my Uggs here, but I also have, these are called Kulabura. These are also by Ugg, but these are more of their, I don't know, conveniently priced price range, I would say. And they guys are just as comfortable. And as you can see, they look very similar you really unless you really focused in on the back of the shoe you would not be able to tell that one was ugg and the other was their more um economically priced version so i have two of these they serve different functions if here again we are going out somewhere and it's icy icy cold i don't want to go but i have to leave the house and it's raining I choose the, you know, the version that I didn't spend a whole lot of money on. All right? So, love those. And I shared these a few months back. I purchased these while we were in 
Orlando from a Target that I just love, 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 love. I think I've told you guys too here on the channel that I love going to both Target and Walmart when we are in Orlando. There are Targets and Walmarts. They're always really clean. There's no one in there, super organized. And I'll say too, you know, not to throw my local Target here under the bus. My Target is really, really good. My Target is really good. It's my Walmart that I have issues with. But nevertheless, uh, that's neither here nor there. These are the last pair of boots here in my uh, winter fall uh, black boot collection. And I mean, when you need a booty, I think these are just perfect. These are just ideal. There's not a whole lot going on. They have this faux suede. So if the weather's icky, but you still want to have a little bit of pizzazz to your look, these are just perfect. You guys know that, you know, a heel, a slight heel, okay? A slight heel does make all the difference in the world when you are trying to pull an outfit together, you know, depending on the look that you're going for. And so I think these are just perfect okay I think I spent like 30 bucks for these um, in Orlando and um, they're they've held up well I've worn these about four or five times and they are not the most comfortable however they are not like beating up my feet either you do want to wear these when I wear them I make sure I have on you know a good comfortable pair of socks I'm not just going to go out because some boots that I have sometimes I don't wear any socks with them I wear, wear like a little stocking a little footy and it's super comfortable especially with my uggs but these no way in the world i definitely have to wear um you know some nice comfortable socks with these but here again i am getting that whole chelsea vibe from these i just love an ankle or booty suede chelsea styled booty so i have really been enjoying these well that is it guys those are all those are actually all of the black boots that I own. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thanks so much for stopping in and listening to me go on and on and on about my boots. If you have a favorite. Now listen, I've already told you guys I don't have expensive boots. You guys know I like to shop both high and low. And it just so happens that just about all of these boots here were pretty low. But um, if you're like me and like to shop like I do, let me know if you had a favorite among my boots. All right. Let me know if you have a favorite that um, in your collection that I absolutely have to run to the store and check out. I'll guess you would need to have purchased them fairly recently if I should go and check them out. But anyway, thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Really do appreciate it. Cannot wait to chat with you all down in the comments. All right, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.